water signs. Hello. Welcome to your shadow of judgment, y'all. For anybody who's new to my channel and to this little series I do, shadow of judgment is where I look at what goes on in your week. And it is the week of August 2nd to August 9th. Hooray, you survived another week. Good job. Anyway, this is for those who want to know what might be going on in the background, what's happening underneath the surface, the shadow side, the sneak side, who's setting you up, who might be doing things that you're unaware about. The nooks, the crannies, the circles, and the four corners to see what's happening for you during the week, whether you're aware or not, right? Water signs, it's finally your turn and your last this time. You got the devil. Like, what the hell? What is this? What is this? What is this? Are y'all dealing with a Capricorn? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we have that effect on people. Ah! Really? Okay, whatever. Let's see what's going on with you water signs, because apparently... It's something. I don't know what that something is, but we're going to find out, right? Cancer, you're up first. Also, water signs, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Check your charts, please. If you resonate with this, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Cross watchers, you can switch where you need to. Also, if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, Instagram is in the description box below. First reading's free of charge. Everything else comes with a price. And I do take tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Cancer, you're looking at options that you're waiting on. You're just holding yourself back a little. You're keeping your mouth shut because you're drooling all over the table. You know, like the lion, like, oh, and the lady's like, no, 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 no. We can't make a mess here. You calm down, you crazy little kitty cat. There is my kitten anyway. Oh, she's on my computer chair sleeping. Traitor's bitch. You're supposed to be here next to me, miss. You're just gonna ignore me? I know you're not sleeping. Like, you're turning your ear. Whatever, I don't care. You'll come to me when you want more nuggets. <laughs> Let's see. Alright, Cancer. Uh, another seven. Ooh. Oh, I might have all of yours out already because a bunch of them fell cancer. I did not cheat, I promise. Alright. With only one sector. Okay, that'll work for me. Um. Huh, cancer. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna put one more down because, like, I'm pretty sure that's connected. I, I said one, not a. Well, I'll read that. That's a little book, real quick. Okay, so something isn't dying. And it feels like someone's trapped mentally with not being able to make a choice here, right? They want to feel secure, but they're completely unhappy and they're looking inside to figure that shit out. Why? I don't know. I have no idea why. But we will figure it out. Let's see. What's the last card for you, Cancer? Ah! Excessive petty fighting, I feel. Like you're trying to end the fighting, but it's like, mm, I don't know if that's happening. All right, so you got options and you're looking them over it, but you're waiting for that eighth pentacle to come your way. Because it feels like if you charge for it, you're not going to know where to go or how to take that shit. Uh, might feel like the battle is for nothing, kind of like over here as well. Now you're holding out your strength here. Trying to keep your mouth drooling from having a good time because there's some awareness that something might be broken up. Or maybe you're trying to keep yourself looking good while, you know, some things are going right in your house. And that's causing a lot of the fighting and stuff that's bothering you. And I feel like you do want to leave. It's just you can't at the moment. Um, you're waiting for your ships to come in. But while you're doing so, you're kind of pretty tortured about how you're going to... Um, get that boat going in the first place you know you got options when it comes to your boats going out and you got problems with trying to figure it out a little bit you know hmm what should we look at cancers how about all this fighting what's all the fighting about that you're trying to end you need to use your intuition with it I feel like 
Probably, yeah, use your intuition and just run your mouth. Fuck it. Could be with an air sign. I almost said earth. Yeah, just, uh, your intuition might be telling you just go ahead, say what you gotta say, and communicate. Heal yourself a little bit since this is the star. I feel like holding yourself back for whatever reason is not helping you. Alright, I want to look at the chariot because I'm curious. Um, trying to get out of that devil energy. Which is good. Get what you wished for. By ignoring it. Da -da -da -da. Okay, whatever, Cancer. I don't care. <laughs> That's your shadow this week. I'm just sitting here like, mm, you're trying to get away from the devil, but it's like you can't? Because you're getting a wish right now where you can just look over at where all this fighting's going on that you can easily end by opening your mouth. I think, is that what, like, you know, crosswatch or switch where you need to, right? Because, you know, they, of course, is here as well. But, um, okay. I feel like this is, like, I, I do feel like this is you, Cancer, and it's like, you're holding out, almost, like, like almost because, like, what, you think you're right or something? I don't, I don't know. I like Or something, like control here. Um, some little bit of a control freak. Some of you might have fire in you. Uh, not that it's bad, entirely bad to be a control freak, because sometimes you have to, but I feel like it's more of a detriment to yourself than anything. You know, because your card of the week is the devil. <laughs> be careful with that, man. That's your shadow. Now we move on to Scorpio. Wonderful, wonderful Scorpio. Rhymes with Rufio. Makes you go Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Cause it's Scorpio. Dude, get this right. I, I totally made up a new cuss. It's a Scorpio Karen, right? <laughs> Cause I know a Scorpio named Karen is like, ew, that's a very dangerous cuss right there. The most dangerous of all the zodiac signs. I thought it was so funny. She's probably gonna murder me now. Ah, speaking of murder, someone murdered a rabbit. Queen of Cups and the Star. Someone wants to communicate, but their intentions are questionable. Could be you, Scorpio. I don't know. Last week, someone said that they were gonna like take out a Taurus, and I was just like, Jesus Christ! All right, man. Like, all the power to you. You know, like I ain't gonna stop you. I'm not, I'm not calling the cops. You'll find my house. Fuck that. <laughs> Someone's trying to heal their heart. This community, they want to, com there's communication, possibly an Aquarius. Something about being left out in the cold. This person just can't get over their own feelings, honestly. Could be you, Scorpio. This person could be, like, sitting here demanding that you fix their broken heart. While you're over here, like, just being like... If this motherfucker does not leave me alone, I swear to Christ, like, I'm putting glass in his oatmeal in the morning and I'm just gonna watch him, like, piss blood. I don't care. That's kind of, like, where you're going with it. Just, like, you're really thinking about breaking your cup and putting the shards in this oatmeal. Just because they'd be like, will you hurry up? Like, you know, they're following you, too, and it's almost like a liability that you want to talk about a little bit. Yeah. You want a victory out of all of this. You're definitely, like, trying to keep your guard out from everywhere else, but you still got this dude over here playing the head games, you know. Then we got King of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands reverse, and then the Page of Swords. We got air. We got fire. We got earth. We got water. We everybody's here. Everybody's here. Everybody. Every single person. Hmm. This person, this fire sign makes you want to run the fuck away. That's why you're over here all pissed off and just being like, what else is out here that I need to worry about? Well, I got like bitchy McBitcherson over here just talking in my ear, telling me how they want me to like make everything better for them, which is really like manipulative. It's almost like they're blaming you for what happened, which is becoming like way too much of a burden for you want to keep gumming into. Like you have the nine, you're trying to drop the nine and this person always brings you back as a 10 and it gets harder and harder to bring back forth. And it's like, they're also kind of watching to see what they can get too. Like this person might have all the money, 
and they might feel like victorious with having you drag them behind them and they're keeping an eye out to make sure you're still pulling these wands right here right so this person's probably really a dick um you know they want you to make them i, I feel like they want you you to be the one to support them for all of their shit but when it comes to yours, they just make you feel bad for even suggesting you should be treated like a human being. Which is like... Ugh, what a trash panda. So let's see. Three of pentacles, four of pentacles. The empress, bad judgment. Um, bad ideas. Bad ideas all over. Okay, listen. Like, you could work this out with this person, but they're gonna leave you insecure as fuck while they make themselves look good, right? All under the guise that maybe things will work out the way you think that they will, or something might be resurrected here, but no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Like, this right here is just very, um... It's like the wrong thing. It's the wrong thing to say or it's the wrong thing to do or some shit like that. It's just wrong all the way around. Like, ring around the wrongsies. You know? Like, I would not trust this person right here, Scorpio. Hmm. That's your shadow of judgment, though. Hmm. I feel like Hmm. Let us see. Pisces, you're next. I didn't even get a chance to shuffle all that. Uh, I'm gonna put that down first. But it feels like you wanna kinda... I feel like you don't wanna fight. Not that you wanna give up, but I feel like you're not interested in conflict of any sort. There you go. That's the first. Options are bullshit. Actually, if I remember right, there was this one movie called Phantasm I really like, and this card always reminds me of it reverse, which is like, uh, the, 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 the kid's older brother, one of his name was Mikey, but I can't remember who it was, or Mike, or some shit like that, but the older brother was like, gave his little brother a shotgun, and he was just like, here, remember, no warning shots, warning shots are bullshit, and I, and I live by those words, because they make sense. I tried getting my husband to watch it once, and he fell asleep, and there was a part where it was just like, dude, butt, right in the video, and he woke up right there, and he's just like, dude, no! I thought it was the funniest shit ever. It's just like, no, baby, that's just a, a, just a simple scene in the movie. Like, you totally fell asleep when there were boobs there. But he was just like, I don't want to watch a movie where there were butts. But then he got into it when he saw the guitar scene. If you've never seen Phantasm, I think you guys would like it. It's really a different kind of movie. The rest of them in the series are a little bit awkward, right? The first one's perfect, though. Okay, so. Pisces, you have options that are really shitty that you are running away from because that's probably the right thing to do because you know as i said before you're not trying to fight for anything or you're not fighting for this because it's just like no warning shots are bullshit give me the real deal man um you're not trying to manifest something either which would be possibly conflict hmm I feel, like, I feel like doing the right thing is more bothersome than anything for some reason. Look at all these sevens. You have triple sevens and they're all reverse. Your Scorpio's card is coming in like, hey, I'm going to murder everything you love. Right? Happiness. So it's kind of like you understand that like the conflict won't bring any sort of joy. And that's why you're not going towards it. It's like all these options over here are shit because there's nothing to fight for because it's just going to feed into some more bad shit. It's time to walk away, no matter how much you love it. Meanwhile, on this side, it's like, there's a there's no resurrection. Nothing's getting started again. Nothing's coming back from the dead. Okay. 
You're just walking away from the idea of, like, trying to bring this back to life. Pisces. Seems like your week is definitely... This magician kind of bothers me. Like, you're running away from it. Or running away from him, whoever it is. It's like you're trying to kill somebody because you don't want it resurrected again. Like it, Almost like it scares you. Which is weird, because I don't think anything scares Pisces. Like, I, I've never known a Pisces that was afraid of anything, really. So I don't know. Uh, but it seems like you're scared of this person and you're really hoping that it dies. You're really hoping that you can ride it out to, like, your death. The angel of death. Just like, I will murder everybody you love and I love iced tea. You know? <laughs> if that makes any sense. Let's see. What's these three cards? Because I was going to pull for something. I just hadn't said it yet. Um, trying to get out of a bad headspace with an emperor right here. Trying to take control and trying to get your point. Working on your own self, right? magician I'm curious because this sounds familiar for some reason I got a book hold on first card there's an empress right here uh, someone's thinking no booty man no and someone needs recovery from going to the booty right no more commitment they'd rather be by themselves and they're keeping stuff to themselves that's your card Pisces you aren't letting anybody know what's going on I think you're kind of worried about how this person's going to treat you a little bit Oh, I'm not reading all those. Ace of Wands did come up, though. Like, you regret how it goes, but, like, you're just like, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna look pretty. Um, yeah, you're more along the lines of, like, yeah, my cups are spilled, but at least I'm cool. I'm not going to this person who's kind of dickish right here. Right, Pisces? So, that's y'all's shadow of judgment, water signs. Clappity clap clap. If you enjoyed this video or any of my other readings, like, go ahead and like, share, subscribe. No pressure, of course, that's up to you. I love your guys' faces, and I hope you guys take it easy. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.